Welcome to TPM Vids Disney Beat, where we talk about all things Disney. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to be notified when we upload a new video. We also have Instagram and Twitter. You can find us at TPM Videos. Welcome, foolish mortals, to the Haunted Mansion. I am your host, your TPM host. <laughs> Our tour begins here at Magic Kingdom in Walt Disney World, where the Haunted Mansion opened in October of 1971. Home to 999 happy haunts. Countless stories- uh, the ghost host can stop there. Yeah, but don't you think it'll fit in better with me mentioning the countless stories that have echoed through the halls from legends to secrets, and even some hidden details that you've probably never even noticed? I mean, did you know that these benches at the exit have snakes painted on them? Huh, I never noticed that. Well, then let's tour the mansion from top to bottom, as we count down the top 10 spooky secrets of the Haunted Mansion. Number 10. The original Haunted Mansion opened at Disneyland in August of 1969. But did you know that everything inside the attraction at Walt Disney World is the exact same age as Disneyland? When the Haunted Mansion was being conceived, they already knew Florida would be getting their own version of the ride. Since both attractions were scheduled to open within two years of each other, Imagineers ordered duplicates of everything from the ride system right down to the sets and animatronics. Once everything had been built, one set went directly into the attraction at Disneyland, and then the other went into a warehouse for storage. When Magic Kingdom began construction, the Haunted Mansion was said to be the easiest attraction to install, and it was completed by April of 1971, six months before Magic Kingdom opened. Number 9. With the Haunted Mansion placed in Liberty Square, the building's architecture takes on the Dutch Gothic revival style. From the mid to late 1800s, this style was used a lot for houses in rural areas, and the Haunted Mansion was actually inspired by two real mansions. One is the Harry Packer Mansion in Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania. It was built in 1874 and it still stands today. You can see some similarities on the facade, but when it comes to the layout, the Haunted Mansion was based off the Rathbone Estate in Albany, New York. It was built between 1842 to 1845, and although the building is no longer around today, the layout is almost identical. Imagineers gave the mansion in Florida more of a cartoony-like appearance, and there's a legend that the stone turrets on top of the building are actually oversized chess pieces. This secret is mentioned in the Keys to the Kingdom tour at Magic Kingdom, but according to this book written by Imagineer Jason Sorrell, this isn't true. He goes on to say that it's just merely a coincidence that the turrets resemble some chess pieces, since these designs were part of the architectural period and style. So I guess this little secret and legend is pretty much busted, but next time you're at the mansion, see how many different chess pieces the turrets resemble. Number 8. If you don't use standby at the Haunted Mansion, you're missing some fun hidden details in the interactive queue. Much like how the windows on Main Street feature tributes to Imagineers, the tombstones in the queue at the Haunted Mansion do the same thing, but for the Haunted Mansion. Here are a few prominent Imagineers you can spot. When you first enter on the right-hand side, you'll see Grandpa Mark the Patriarch, named after the one and only Mark Davis. Mark was responsible for creating many of the comical characters in the attraction, including the portraits in the stretching room. Next to Grandpa Mark, you can find Francis Xavier, named after Francis Xavier Atencio. Better known as X Atencio, he was the Imagineer who wrote the iconic Ghost Host dialogue, as well as the lyrics to Grim Grinning Ghosts. In the center, you'll find Master Gracie laid to rest, who's named after Yale Gracie, the Imagineer responsible for creating a lot of the special effects in the attraction. There are so many other tributes on the tombstones, so next time you walk through the queue, keep your eyes peeled. You never know who you might see. Number 7. Disney puts a lot of detail in the pavement. In the Haunted Mansion queue, you may notice the caretaker's footprints along with some dog prints, but the real secret here we're talking about is the hidden wedding ring. It's really small, so you're going to have to look extra hard to find it, 
but it's right next to the captain's crypt, and it's only visible from the standby queue. The ring is that little silver thing in the pavement. The right side here is facing the front of the organ, and to the left is where standby merges with fast pass. Now this wedding ring is said to belong to the bride Constance, who threw it out of the window, but this secret and story actually began as a fan legend. This here is the original wedding ring. It had a past life as a pole in the queue that was cut to free up space. After a maintenance cast member tried removing the leftover metal and broke the tip of the screwdriver, well, the wedding ring was born and fans began to notice it. Around 2006, Disney did pave over the original ring, and it didn't return until the interactive queue was built in 2011. Imagineers remembered this fan legend and placed the wedding ring in the pavement to tell the story, and it officially made it part of the Haunted Mansion canon. Number 6 The dialogue spoken by the ghost host is iconic. He's voiced by the legendary Paul Frees. But did you know that the original host for the attraction was supposed to be a raven? It's actually the very same raven that can be seen in the conservatory or in the seance room on the chair. He actually appears four times on the ride at Magic Kingdom. But during the development, Imagineers began to realize that since the raven was so small, it was getting lost in all the chaos happening around it. It was difficult to draw attention to this little bird. Since the Black Raven still fit the motif of this sinister story, they kept it as a silent character but then switched gears to create the disembodied ghost host. When designing the new interactive queue in 2011, Imagineers also added the Raven onto the organ to get you familiar with the character before you even enter the ride. Number 5 Now it isn't the Haunted Mansion without ghostly spirits. Visiting the Haunted Mansion during the day is one thing, but at night, this certain spooky energy fills the attraction. The windows are all illuminated, and in some of them you'll see the flicker of candlelight. But if you keep a watchful eye, you may spot some ghosts lurking in the distance. Silhouettes of some of the 999 happy haunts walk by the windows from time to time, like right here. There's four different windows on the mansion where these ghosts are visible, so next time you're at the Haunted Mansion, try and take about five minutes to see how many times these silhouettes show up in the windows. Number 4 One of the 999 happy haunts is Madame Leota. Now before entering the mansion, be sure to keep a watchful eye on her tombstone. She's keeping a watchful eye on you before she sends those sympathetic vibrations your way. Madame Leota, the floating psychic medium, is a pretty famous Disney Parks character, and she was actually modeled after an Imagineer. Yale Gracie, the Imagineer we mentioned earlier, needed a model to pose as a head to test an effect, so he asked fellow Imagineer Leota Toombs to step in. Leota looked so great that she became the official face of the character, and they even went on and named it after her as well. Now, Leota was a very soft-spoken woman, so they brought in Eleanor Audley to dub her voice. You may recognize Audley's voice as Lady Tremaine in Cinderella and Maleficent in Sleeping Beauty. Wizards and witches, wherever you dwell, give us a hint by ringing a bell. But you can, however, hear Leota's voice asking you to hurry on back. Hurry back. Number 3 One of the most commonly used illusions found on Disney rides is the Pepper's Ghost Effect. The ballroom scene of the Haunted Mansion is the most commonly talked about example, and it's actually one of the largest Pepper's Ghost setups there is. The simple yet effective illusion has been around since 1862. It was commonly used in stage setups, and it's all about using a piece of glass and reflection. The easiest way to understand how the illusion works is to look at any window. In these display windows, you see the reflection of the guests walking around. And this is pretty much the same concept as Pepper's Ghost used in the ballroom scene of the Haunted Mansion. As your doom buggy travels along the ride track, there's a large pane of glass that extends 30 by 90 feet in front of the scene. Hidden above and below you, there are physical ghost animatronic figures painted with exaggerated colors, and they're all placed against black backdrops. 
when they are illuminated, their image is reflected onto the glass and creates a composite of ghostly spirits in the physical room in front of you. Number 2 Did you know that some familiar faces from other Disney attractions can be found in the Haunted Mansion? Disney recycles animatronic molds to create new characters, so they turned the auctioneer from Pirates of the Caribbean into the ship captain spinning in a circle right here. In the iconic Pirates of the Caribbean jail scene, the tall slender pirate in the middle was recycled into the ghost with the crown at the dining table in the ballroom scene. In this promotional footage from Disneyland's Haunted Mansion, it's really easy to see the resemblance. Also, that whistling pirate? Well, he can be found a few times in the Haunted Mansion. He was recycled as the ghost blowing out her candles on the table, and as you make your way into the graveyard scene, a few of the instrument playing ghosts on the left-hand side were also recycled from the same mold. Another character that can be found in the Haunted Mansion is the grandma from Carousel of Progress. She can be seen right here in the ballroom scene. Now, Pirates of the Caribbean and Carousel of Progress were not opening day attractions at Magic Kingdom, but the Haunted Mansion was. So this means that these characters were in the park well before their attractions. Pirates of the Caribbean didn't open until 1973, and Carousel of Progress opened in 1975. Number 1 as you exit the Haunted Mansion, it's easy to rush out to catch your next Fast Pass. But if you're guilty of this, you might be missing out on another hidden Haunted Mansion secret. On the left-hand side, there's a pet cemetery, where many animals have been laid to rest. But if you take a look at the top of the hill, you'll spot Mr. Toad. From 1971 until 1998, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride was able to be found in Fantasyland. It's where the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh is today. Eight years after the ride closed, Mr. Toad was placed in the Pet Cemetery in 2006. He's had a couple spots in the graveyard, but this new one is a lot more prominent. You'll notice the other animals have epitaphs written on the stone, and there is a myth among cast members that Mr. Toad says, Here lies Toad. It's sad but true, not nearly as marketable as Winnie the Pooh. When you zoom right in, you can see there's nothing on the stone, but next time you're exiting the Haunted Mansion, don't forget to say hi to Mr. Toad, who resides in this deadly new humble abode. So what's your favorite detail or secret in the Haunted Mansion? I'd love to know. Leave a comment down below to start a conversation, and don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Oh, and be sure to check out some of these other videos, which we think you'll enjoy.